Hey everybody, welcome back to the Print 3D channel. Today is May 17th and that means day 137 of the 3DP 365 project. And on today's episode, we printed out this little Flex Rex toy, so stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back, and thank you for joining me here for day 137 of the 3DP 365 project. As always, down in the description, there's a fact section. There's also a Matter Hackers affiliate link. If you need to buy some new filament or a printer, just use that Matter Hackers affiliate link and you'll really help out the channel. Today's episode, we printed out another one of those cool print in place flexible toys. And this is Flex Rex, and he turned out awesome. I am really happy with the results. We did have one minor problem. The tail piece, and I don't know if you can see that or not, but the tail piece popped off the print bed, but it didn't pop off the print bed. The hinge had already started printing, so it did still stay, stay secure to the rest of the model. So I just let it finish, because I figured it'd be fine. And it did have a significant layer shift. You can clearly see there's a layer shift there. But the hinge itself, it still works pretty good. And now there's eight individual hinges on here that printed, and this tiny, tiny little toy. And look at that, it's super flexible. Those are some very flexible hinges. So I'm really happy with the results, even with this little split tail there. That makes them kind of unique. And we downloaded this from Thingiverse, and once we had it downloaded, we sent it over to Simplify 3D for slicing. In Simplify 3D, we used a 0.2 millimeter layer height with four top layers and three bottom layers and three perimeters. We also ran a skirt at 10 millimeters from the object at three outlines. For infill, we used 20% because that's what the model on Thingiverse suggested that we use was 20%. And it was a good idea because anything less than that and these other pieces wouldn't have filled in with any infill. And probably those top layers would have came out kind of bumpy or bubbly. So we used 20% infill. We also ran this out at 35 millimeters per second because I just wanted to make sure we captured all these little hinges perfectly. And the final result with all those settings is a very flexible toy. And it actually turned out pretty good. And I used Matter Hackers Pro PLA in the color of pearl blue because that's one of my favorite colors. And I love T-Rex, so we have a pearl blue flexible little T-Rex toy. And he really turned out awesome. Besides the little layer shift, the rest of the print looks good. There's no real skips. There's no um, layer separation anywhere else. The little uh, tail piece that popped off didn't cause any more problems throughout the other part of the print, so that's really good. And I'm really happy with the results. And of course, he's super flexible, so this is a good print. Well, that about wraps it up for day 137 of the 3DP 365 project. I hope you guys found this episode interesting and informative. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share those videos, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.